Hello, Psych2Goers. Have you ever felt stuck? Maybe there are some things that are leaving you unhappy. Some little habits that end up doing more damage than good in the long run. How many things prevent you from being happy? Here are some things that can make you truly unhappy throughout your day and in the long run. Let's recognize them now so we can see if we can replace them with some healthier habits instead. Number one, extending your bedtime into the late hours. How often do you neglect that sleepy feeling you experience late into the night after yet again another cat compilation video? <sighs> but they're so cute, you remind yourself. My cat whiskers and I love watching them, but sleep is a necessity while cat videos aren't. Sorry, whiskers. Do you often extend your bedtime when you don't have to? The inevitable sleep procrastination, revenge bedtime. Do you even go to bed at all? It's recommended we get roughly seven to eight hours of sleep. Let's aim for the eight hour mark, Psych2Goers. You may be a night owl, but you still need your Zs. So set a bedtime and start winding down an hour or two before. This will prevent you from feeling foggy and groggy throughout your day. Sleep deprivation may lead to putting you in a bad mood as well, so get some rest. Your further morning self will thank you later, likely in the morning. Number two, not enjoying the simple moments. Do you notice the sweet, simple moments in your life? Are you grateful for them? Savoring the little moments in your life may make you a bit happier. The practice of savoring has been viewed by many to be a way to increase happiness. We can use our thoughts and actions to increase our appreciation of positive experiences and emotions and the duration of them. When we do so, this is known as savoring. To practice savoring, the next time you appreciate something small, take an extra minute to consciously acknowledge it and bask in it. Don't let these moments pass you by, be aware of them. Because if we never notice the little moments that are actually more special than we realize, we may slide into feeling a little unhappier than we were if we had savored them. Number three, never exercising. When's the last time you hit the gym? The treadmill? A walk? Dance? Yoga? Exercise plays a factor in improving our self-esteem and happiness. Continuous exercise has been shown to reduce stress, anxiety, and symptoms of depression. So it's a good habit to put into place. Start with just five minutes a day when you wake up, then when that becomes a habit, add an extra five minutes. Continue doing so until you feel comfortable. The point is, it's easier to start a goal of five minutes a day than expect yourself to suddenly exercise an hour a day. Without exercise, you'll likely miss out on a bit of happiness. Number four, ignoring your mental and physical well-being. Do you pay attention to your mental health? Well, you're watching Psych2Go, so hopefully you're giving your mental well-being a little recognition and motivation. But what about your physical health as well? Your life can be filled with busy days and constant interruptions, but it's best not to ignore your mental and physical health. Most of our health problems will arise later rather than sooner if we don't take care of our health now. The National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute recommends that you get your cholesterol measured about once every five years, starting at the age of 20. That's one way you can check up on your physical health. Mental health? Know that it's okay to take breaks when overworked, or even on those normal work days, a short break can be healthy. And if you feel overwhelmed or emotional, express yourself by journaling or talking to someone. It's always best to seek out help when you feel burnt out, feel out of control, or simply need someone to talk to. So it's best to tend to your health when you can. The long-term results may just make you a little happier. Number five, not progressing. It's great to have a break, but just because you're on one doesn't mean you can't advance your skills somewhere else. When's the last time you learned something new during your free time? Learning can make us feel proud, productive, and happy. So why not take up a new hobby? Advance your music skills, read that novel on your bookshelf, learn a new language. The possibilities are endless. You may think of school as a chore. Learning doesn't have to be that way. You can make your own lessons and become your own teacher. The topic for today's lesson, anything you want. Just don't give yourself too much homework at once and make sure to get some sleep so you have enough energy to learn. And number six, only staying in your comfort zone. Too comfortable. Are you afraid of what could happen if you fail? Of course, everyone considers the possibility of failure, but never taking risks is a big life mistake and it could lead you down some unhappiness in the future. Those who have lived a long life often mention how they wished that they'd taken more risks. 
In the last years of your life, would you rather have known you took the risk instead of living in regret? It's time to get out of your comfort zone and progress. If we always do what makes us comfortable, we may start to feel stuck. The small goals can be easier to notice, but what about those exciting long-term goals? We need to explore what else is out there. There may be a new hobby, career, skill, relationship, or journey out there for you. So let's get to it. What things tend to make you a bit unhappy? Do you have some exciting new habits you'd like to implement? Let us know in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks so much for watching.